Greetings everyone, this is Elizabeth. Thanks for hopping along for Kindred's Car Challenge number 16. And we're doing the super sponsor Crafty Stamp Co. You guys, they have some of the cutest stuff. I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of obsessed. So I hope you enjoy. We're gonna go through and put sketch number 15 together you guys. Um, one of our lovely viewers from a, the last top suggested either 11 or 15 and uh, 11 just screamed because as you can see I have some scraps out that I have because I've been using Crafty Stamp Co. paper like crazy and these are some of the leftovers and for this particular um, design it was like I had all this stuff so <laughs> this is what we're gonna do and as I'm gluing some of this together we're gonna change it up a little bit usually I yammer on and then put the card together but as I put this together because I have all my pieces we're gonna chat about the Kendra's card challenge and crafty stamp co but look at we're using their most adorable fall hedgehogs oh my gosh you guys I just, I'm in love. And I've used them a few times, so there are some videos that I have up for this. You can also um, watch uh, other hoppers, because this is, um, Cra Crafty Stamp Co. has sponsored quite a bit. So there's a lot of videos out there for Crafty Stamp Co. And um, you can just... YouTube search them, find all the fun videos, and uh, follow along on the hops and stuff. This is like my third or fourth hop for them through Kendra's Card Challenge. Kendra's Card Challenge, if you want to scan the QR code here, it'll take you to the Patreon, okay? You can sign up for the free level. The free level gets you the cutting guides. Now, the cutting guides come with the little sketches, right? So your your goal is to um, make 15 cards with these 15 sketches using three, no, six. I don't know why I always think three. Six, six by six patterned sheets of paper plus a few um, extra papers like this paper here, which we made using an embossing folder and some of my gold paper that I had in the stash, right? And so we're just going to glue that down. But your 15 sketches, once you've made all 15 cards, you, and you take a photo and upload them to the Facebook group for Kendra's Card Challenge, you get to be entered to win. Oh, I can't believe I just glued that down. Can we unglue that? Back up! back up so we're gonna try to gently peel and I'm not like lifting lifting we want to give a twist there we go Whew. we'll let that glue dry <laughs> because we need to trim these to fit this in one of my pieces of paper we're gonna use some washi tape you guys I love using washi tape if you don't use the six by six papers and do all 15 cards using those particular papers, you can do what I'm doing. We look at the sketch, there's measurements on the little bitty sketch and we just follow per one sketch. And I love doing that. That's probably my favorite, <laughs> just to work with one because I always have scraps and stuff laying around. But uh, so we're gonna get these papers which paper F and paper E, <laughs> look it, it's going to be so adorable. We're going to get that on there, about there. It doesn't have to be precise. Oops, oops, oops. And if your washi tape doesn't stick, like sometimes it's just too, too gentle, right? We can get some um, glue here. Get our crafty glue and we're gonna help that out. Now I'm gonna just use my card base because I need to glue this anyways, right? So getting a little bit of extra glue on it is not gonna hurt it any. I'm gonna roll out my glue. I'm gonna put my washi tape there and then I'm gonna pull my washi tape on through to the other side. And then we're gonna flip it over 
I'm going to grab that end and I'm going to do the same thing. That way I'm not really getting glue all over the place, but it's going to get right on there and then we're going to set that aside. So when you make your 15 cards and you upload them to Kendra's card challenge, and you don't have to have Facebook in order to enter. You can enter via her website. Her website and all the information you need um, is down below in my description box. And if you're watching any of my other videos and you're like, oh, I need to do Kendra's card challenge. Don't worry, you don't have to hunt down another video. You just click on my link tree. I have Kendra's... Um, Facebook group, the Patreon, and her YouTube, which is a plethora of information on past challenges. So if you kind of need to get an idea what's going on there, you can uh, click on that and uh, check it out. You guys, I forgot to put the pin in the glue. But look, it's still working. Yay! <laughs> so we're going to get our little, our little black pieces here, which is just paper that's not part of the design that we cut out right so this is that extra paper that you would need like our embossed paper and this says embossed or stenciled so you can pull out your stencils and stuff but uh, you can also use washi and you can tell that this is not one quarter inch um it's just a guide these cards sketches are a guide to help you get you going but once you make your six or 15 cards, upload them, that'll enter you to win. It doesn't guarantee you a win, but it does enter you to win. And the gifts are from the sponsors, okay? All of these sponsors are giving gifts. And they could be product, gift cards. Um, I'll put a thing up towards the end that says what our crafty stamp co is sponsoring this this go round but uh yeah it just it's a lot of fun there's a lot of good people that play along with these sketches and stuff and i hope it interests you enough to go check it out again that's kendra's card challenge and that um oops drop that on there <laughs> this doesn't want to stick to our embossed area, which is fine, which is fine. If if we have troubles, we can grab our double stick tape. Because if you're crazy like me, you have some super thin double stick tape. And let me pull that out. Because we're... <laughs> It's just not sticking. And that happens. That happens. Real life crafting, right? Okay. Um, but there's a lot of designers out there that have made videos for Kendra's card challenge um, throughout the years. Because for me, it's kind of new. Like, I didn't know it's been out for 16 years. 16 right and that's quarter quarterly so um every three months so that's four four times a month four eight twelve six so four years this has been going on wow i know and i'm i'm just slow off the boat let me tell you but i'm having fun i'm enjoying it and uh we just get a craft like a nice little reason to craft right Okay, here we go. And now we've made a like a little sticker. And we'll get that to stick right nicely. Ooh, look at that. I love this Crafty Stamp Co. faux glitter paper. The other side is just adorable too. And this is off of the um, Pumpkin Breeze. Now, they used to be Copictopia. They're changing their branding to Crafty Stamp Co. So if you want to find them, that's what you got to type in, craftystampco.com, which you can get down in the description box. My links are affiliate links, which means I get a little percentage of um, your, your sale. It does not cost you anything but a click, right? You just click, and it tells them that you went shopping, and... Um, 
then they're, then they're like, thanks, Elizabeth. Thanks for sending these lovely people our way. And uh, that's how I make my little commission. And uh, I hope I hope you go check them out. They're a small but mighty little shop. Mighty adorable, I might add. Just mighty adorable. They have some really great Halloween stuff, some Christmas stuff. Um, as you can see, these little hedgehogs for fall. They have they have something for everyone, I think, because <laughs> it's adorable. It's just adorable. They have some stencils and a beautiful paper. Um, I have a couple of packs of Halloween paper. I have this fall paper. I have one of the Christmas papers only because I couldn't buy. I couldn't buy more. I ran out of money. <laughs> Don't you just hate that? You're like, I need more money. I need to buy more stuff. But that's that's what happened. Yeah. Okay. So that's looking good. We got those on there. And then we have one last one to do, which is going to be this little stringy guy right here. And we're going to get that little skinny tape. Now this tape is probably a little bit too long for this piece of paper or too wide, which is fine. I'll show you how to fix it if you have a little bit of tape sticking out. Okay, so that it's not sticky. And it won't accidentally like stick to the inside of the envelope. We're gonna get our anti-static buddy. Cause they won't know, they won't see the, the sticky. And then we're just gonna peel this back uh, maybe but uh, a lot of hoppers or a lot of creators like I said creating for Kendra this hop the playlist is down in the description box for you so you can watch all the hoppers I'm gonna try and roll some of this over because it actually is pretty pretty wide okay that's not too bad just try not to touch it too much, but we can tuck it in. Okay, and then I'll show you what to do just in case you have a little bit that's still showing through. Now, I made mine a little bit wide, my little area right here. And that's because I wanted to show some of that gold through there. And you don't have to if you don't want to. But that's how I chose to do mine. So we have our cute little washi acting as some paper. <laughs> scraps of paper from previous projects right we got all the things and i just fold the washi over instead of cutting it it's just a little easier that way Doop. look at that and then we can glue this down and then we'll be about done you guys let me know what you think down in the description or description the the chat area down there if you liked the card, pretty easy. Oh my goodness. It didn't take very long. The longest part for me was coloring because I wanted to make sure that little hedgehog was all kinds of cute. So I took my time coloring him with some alcohol markers. And of course, the line work for um, Crafty Stamp Co. is just fabulous. A lot of great little critters and stuff to choose from and there's that and our last little bit because the design says any shape which by the way we have this shape available on this this is the Kendra Morgan of Kendra's card challenge card cut essentials dies number two and this little medallion is fabulous and what I did is I just took a little piece of vellum that actually fit right in there, taped it in place, ran it through the machine, and I was able to get my little medallion there. So it doesn't fully cover everything. And then we can put our cute little hedgehog from Crafty Stamp Co. right there. Look at how adorable that is. And to get it to stick, we're going to add some glue to the back of this cute little guy. And uh, if you don't know, if you haven't followed me, his name is Harold. All the hedgehogs are Harold's, even the girls, just because, just because it's a thing. Back in the day, I had a little stuffy hedgehog whose name was Harold. 
and my stepdad's name was Harold. <laughs> so all the hedgehogs now are just Harold. Just solidifies that memory for me. <laughs> but what do you think of our little hedgehog hanging out here on our card? Isn't that adorable? Using scraps that we've cut from other projects, hanging onto them. Maybe throw them in a little envelope, you know, so that you can just go through, look at your sketches and say, oh, look, this sketch is going to utilize all of my, my pieces. And it doesn't have to be exactly the same, right? If you want a fatter piece of that, a thinner piece of that, you can mix and match it any way you want, just like I did where I used washi instead of paper, and then I used skinnier little pieces than what was called for, just so I could have more, I don't know, interest in between. But uh, there it is. I want to thank you again, and uh, we'll see you next time here for Kendra's Card Challenge number 16. Have a great crafty day, my friends. Bye-bye.